hello guys and welcome back so today i am doing my very first decluttering video as you can see i have a pile of highlighters today i am decluttering as much as i can i love highlighters i think everyone at this point does if you don't then that's okay but i'm gonna go through my highlighters because i have way too many and i need to get rid of some so i'm gonna show you guys what products i have which i will be keeping and which i will be either donating or giving away to a friend or my sisters so let's start decluttering shall we okay so the first palette that i have here is the very loved anastasia beverly hills and nicole guerrero palettes this is very very new to my makeup collection it is absolutely gorgeous palettes i've been using it every day since i got it so you get six shades for about 40 bucks which i think is a awesome price i am obviously not going to get rid of this because i love it and i use it every day so this one is going on the keeps pile next we have another anastasia um glow kits palette and this is one of the first ones that she launched a while back um i actually only own this one and i don't use it as much as i wish i did the colors are absolutely gorgeous very pigmented so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to just desanitize this and just clean it very well i'm going to throw it in the kit where i usually keep all the products for my clients when i do makeup so i am going to keep this but not for myself Next up, I have this um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics highlighter. This is the only highlighter that I own from him. It is so pretty and it is so pigmented. The color is just absolutely rich. It is very creamy in texture. As you can see, like a little bit goes such a long way. I really do enjoy this product. I know that a lot of you feel very strongly about Jeffree, which is the reason why I don't use it as much on my channel but this i am definitely going to keep because keep because i really do like it so i'm actually just going to talk about these two together these are the um, vintage highlighters by jessica these two products i received in one of my boxycharm boxes a while ago this highlighter is absolutely gorgeous unfortunately i have not touched these since i got them this one is definitely not going to stay with me the other one that i have here is also the same this one is in rose gold it's such a pretty highlight but again i have not touched it as you can see it's barely been swatched it is a very pretty color but it's not something that i have ever used or i don't see myself using at all so this one is going this one has to go to sorry vintage I keep this one as a highlighter because I mainly use it as a highlighter. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in number two. This was all the rave when it first came out and I still love it. I don't use a bronzer as much, but it is a gorgeous bron bronzer. bronzer. The highlight is absolutely gorgeous. It's a gold. It's so, so pretty. So this one, obviously, I am keeping because it has been through the ringer. I'm also going to be including any liquid illuminators that I have because I don't own as many. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi in this shade Golden, I believe. This one, unfortunately, I do not use at all and I don't really like it. So I am going to pass on this one. I also have here the Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics All Over Glow. This is such a pretty highlighter. I have used it a few times, but I don't use it. But I don't use it enough to want to keep it. So this one as well is going away to a new home. I also have here the e.l.f. Um, liquid illuminating drops. I believe it is called. This one is amazing. If you guys are looking for a high quality liquid illuminator, pick up this e.l.f. one. It is amazing. I promise you guys will be in love. So this one I am definitely keeping. Next up is this Pixie Plus Aspen Novard. I believe that's how you say. It is the collab that she did with Pixie, obviously. And this is such a pretty highlight. I have honestly not been using this one as much, but it is a very pretty color. So I am going to keep this so I can use it a little bit more and see if it makes it to you know my favorites list. Next up, I have the Laura Mercier Highlight Palette or Highlighting uh what 
This is the Matte Radiance Baked Powder in number one. I love this. It is so pretty. I actually bought it because of Kathleen Lights. It is such a gorgeous highlight. I can't even explain it. I don't use this one as much as I wish I would because I feel like it is too light for my skin tone. So as much as I don't want to let this go because it is so beautiful, I have to let it go because I don't use it and it doesn't complement my skin as much in my personal opinion. So this one is going away as well. <laughs> This one is pretty new to my collection. It is the Milani Sun Glow Luminous Solar Strobe Lights um, Highlighter. This one is beautiful, as you can see. No way I can get rid of this. One of my favorites at the moment. I've been using it so much and it's super affordable. So this one is definitely staying with me. Next up is the Lorac Illuminating Highlighter in the shade Twilight. That is, this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous highlighter it's very pigmented and i absolutely love the shade you get so much pigment out of this as you can see it is so incredibly pigmented one of my favorites when i first bought it and it's just kind of been sitting in the back burner but i still love it so i'm definitely going to keep this one next up is this ulta illuminating powder in the shade yellow diamond i know for sure that i am getting rid of this one it is a very pretty color but i don't ever ever wear it it's a white highlight with a little bit of yellow undertones just like the name of it suggests so i don't use this one and there's no point in me keeping it so this is going away as well okay so next up is jcad and i am just gonna kill three birds with one stone um these are the you glow girl highlighters by jcad i have received i did receive these in the mail as pr package but still I'm gonna let you guys know that this is probably the only one that I will be keeping. This one is in the shade Moonlight. It is the golden shade, which you guys know that is what I typically go for because it's what I feel suits my skin tone the best. This one is more of a yellow gold, and then this one is a gorgeous um, rosy. It's more of a white rose gold shade, and I just... I'm not a fan of rose gold highlighters, so, so these two are leaving and this one is staying. Okay, so I have here two of the Luxe Beauty Old School Packaging Highlighters. This one is in the shade Ever After and this is in the shade Centerfold. So as you can probably see, this one has those lilac undertones, which is Ever After, and then this one has more of those golden peachy undertones i absolutely love this one but i know that i'm not going to use this one which is ever after but i am going to be keeping centerfold next up is this maybelline master highlights and i know for sure that this baby is going somewhere else it does make a very pretty blush but i have tons of blushes which is probably the next thing that i'm going to declutter if you guys want to see that give me a thumbs up but i am not going to keep this so Okay, so I'm super torn between keeping this and obviously, you know, getting rid of it. It is the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb Cosmetics. I used to love this. This was one of my first, like, high-end purchases when I first started my channel. So for the sake of memories, I know it sounds a little stupid, but I'm definitely going to keep this. Next up, I have these two ColourPop highlighters. This one is in the shade Wisp. I have used and abused this so much, if you guys can't tell, I am literally hitting pan with this. So I know mama's gonna keep this because I love it. This one I won't be keeping, it is in the shade Over the Moon. This one is that one right there, as you can see it has tons of like pinkish violet undertones. Very pretty, but just not for me. Okay, so next up I have TLS Cosmetics. This is a brand that I feel deserves a lot more recognition. Um, so this is my all-time favorite. If I could keep one highlighter, I would literally keep this one. It is so gorgeous. I love that these are a powder form, so the intensity of them is a thousand times better i'm gonna keep this one because i love it this one is in the shade aquarius as you can see super intense but for for a highlight it's not something that i really see myself using ever again maybe for an eyeshadow but it's a little bulky so i'm not keeping this one 
This is the next shade. I, I'm sorry for the swatch, but this one is sh in the shade Crystal. Very pretty soft gold shade as well. I actually really like this one as well. So this one is staying. Okay, and then the very last one that I have is this shade right here. Very pretty shade. I actually like this one a little bit better than this one because that one is a little bit more golden. But I love mixing them both. I know I'm a hoarder, so I'm going to keep all these. Next up is Wet n Wild. These are their newest um, highlighters. This one is the only one that I know for sure that is leaving because it's very peach and it doesn't it just doesn't look good on my skin so this one is leaving next up is physicians formula these two are their shimmer strips and then this one is their shimmer brick or something like that i have the shade wakigi strip and vegas strip and then this one is in the shade nude unfortunately i don't use any of these i was using this one for a while but i haven't used it in months so i am not going to be keeping any any of these at all another product that i bought because of kathleen lights this one is the essence pure nude powder i actually really like this one even though it is a little bit lighter for it is a little bit lighter than what i liked but i really like that this one just it makes my skin look very natural in a way so this one is staying here's another luxie one i don't know the name of this one but it is so pretty it's gold and it has a little bit of peach undertones and then a little bit of like rose gold nothing like i own so i am definitely keeping this baby these are just a, a few of the other liquid illuminators that i have this one is by the beauty crop um, these two are by elf and then this one is by i don't know what brand but i used this one for a while so i'm not gonna keep any of these because i really don't use them at all next up is this becca moonstone highlighter i don't know what i was thinking when i got this because this just does not look good on my skin tone it is way too light and as pricey as it was i can't keep this because it's just it's taking up space and i don't ever use it so sorry becca you gotta go girl this is another highlight that I rarely ever use, so I know this one is leaving for sure. It is the Gerard Cosmetics Highlighter in the shade Lucy. I don't know what I was thinking, why I got it rose gold. This one I am for sure keeping. It is the Wet n Wild and Fergie Collection Highlighter in Hollywood Boulevard. I know that it is named something else now, but I love this one, so this one is staying. I have two of the Makeup Revolution um, highlighters. I actually really like these both when I combine them. So these two babies are definitely staying with me. Another one of my favorite highlighters from Luxie. Um, I don't even know the name because, oh, it's Labelle. This one is so gorgeous and I used to wear this like every day when I first started. So this one I'm definitely going to keep. And then this one in this shade, Honey Child. Oh my God, this just makes the most beautiful highlight if you are dark skin. This will look so stunning on you. So this one I am keeping faux show. This is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. Oh, I love this. This is the second time I've purchased it because I lost the first one. So I purchased it again and I love it. So obviously you are staying with me forever. I have this little mini Luxie Beauty highlighter, which is similar to one of the shades that I already have. So, because I'm a psycho, I'm just gonna keep this because it's cute and small. Me. The very last highlight that I have is another Laura Geller Gilded Honey highlighter in the shade Ballerina. This one is really pretty. It's more of a rose gold pink, champagne -y. Me. I don't know how to explain it, but it is very pretty. So I am definitely going to keep this one because this one and Gilded Honey together, honey, let me tell you. So these are all the highlighters that I will be keeping. I know that this is still kind of a lot, but is a lot better than what I had going. I definitely have room now to buy more. <laughs> which is always the plan, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this decluttering video. If you want to see more, definitely let me know. And also let me know what you wanna see next. If you wanna see lipsticks or blushes or bronzers, let me know and I will film that for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in my next video. Bye chicas.